Hey everyone, got a couple of new products for you today. One of them is from Hourglass and one of them is from Cover FX. I have the new Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. And I want to tell you guys how this compares to another product that I have that I actually like a little bit better. This claims to have, of course, fibers in it. It's supposed to be volumizing for your brow. And I've been using this for several days now. And I have definite um, opinions on it. The color I got is called Warm Brunette. So it comes in a little package like this. Hourglass has some new products out right now. I have the new powder. It is fantastic. And here's what the little brush looks like. So if you can see, it is sort of like a normal spool brush on the end on one side there. And then on the other, it has longer bristles. You see that? So that makes it kind of narrow for you to get into the narrow spots of your brow. And then this edge is sort of wider to get into the wide spots of your brow. So as you're looking at it, as you're looking at the product on the actual brush, you're not seeing fibers. Okay, I'm seeing a few as I'm moving the bristles around, but it's not, a lot of times like these fiber mascaras will just be bristling with fibers. I'm seeing just a few little fibers in there. It's not like that, like those mascaras at all. So I don't have this on today. I will show you me applying this in a couple of different ways. I do have on this other product that I want to tell you about that I like a little better and it's from Tarte. It's called Busy Gal Brows. So the Hourglass product, it is nice and smooth. As you're putting it on, it goes on very smoothly. Now what I usually do when I'm applying this is I start with that wider edge of that bristle, the shorter bristle of the brush, and I start sort of in the middle of my brow, and I start going in the direction of the hair, and then in places I want for it to be a little thicker coverage, I will sort of wiggle the spoolie back and forth and let more product build onto my, my uh, little hairs and then smooth it back into place. So this is not going to allow you to put little lines in your brows, fill in places that are super sparse, or sort of outline your brows. So for instance, my left brow is a problem child. This one is my favorite over here. My right brow is much nicer. This one is just more narrow. It has fewer hairs in it, and it's just more narrow. It doesn't come up as high up here as this other one does. So when I'm actually drawing my brows on with a brow pencil, I will actually give it a little more height through here to try to sort of match up with its sister over here. This is not gonna allow you to do that. This is just going to fill in and sort of plump what you've already got. This does not feel sticky, it does not feel thick, and it does not let your brows feel crispy, crunchy, any of those things. They don't continue to feel wet throughout the day. It is not going to transfer off on your finger. You're not going to have fibers raining down into your eyes, etc. But to me, it does not give me enough fill in and volume on my brows. This other product I'm going to tell you about does all of those things. So I use these products on days when I just really don't feel like penciling in the whole super done eyebrow. If you want a super done eyebrow, these products are not going to be the best way to go. It's better to go with sort of a pencil. You can sculpt and get the exact brow that you want that way. These products are more for quick on the go and a little more of a natural brow than your very done and penciled in brow. Let me show you what I have on today. This is the Tarte Busy Gal Brows. It's part of their Double Duty Beauty and it is a tinted brow gel. So I discovered this sort of by accident. I saw an ad for it on Facebook and I thought, well, I'll go in and take a look at that. Took a look at it at Ulta and I just love this one. Uh, the color is called Medium Brown. This has a super, super skinny super skinny little brush, a uh, little spoolie on it. I put this on today. I wear this quite often when I don't feel like just fully doing my brows. It fills in, as you can see, it doesn't give you volume, but it gives you the illusion of volume because the color in it is so thick that it is giving you the look of having more brows than you actually do. So you can wear this all day 
It does not feel crispy, crunchy, dried, uh, goopy, any of those things. I think the color is a really good color match for my hair. And I just really like the thinness of this little spoolie. This is a tinted gel, but it is not thin and watery. It is, it's got a lot of pigment in it, but it is, it's a, it's intensely pigmented. It's not a thin and runny little gel. There it is right there. And that's how it contributes to your volumization. Um, these will not hold your brows per se in place if you have real crazy uncontrollable brows. Neither of these products are going to nail those down. You're going to have to do a gel to nail your brows in into place. I just really like this one better because it seems to look more filled in. Your brow looks more filled in than with this hourglass one. For some reason this hourglass one does not really like to grab onto my hairs as much as the Tarte one does. So as you're putting these on you're going to want to not only go just straight through in one direction, you're going to want to kind of wiggle, you're going to want to kind of brush up in places I brush down um, on this point of my eyebrow here. I tend to brush down with both of these products. The Cover FX Gold Bar Highlighting Palette, here it is. I really had high hopes for this. I was really excited about it. Here's what it looks like. The packaging is really good because here's the deal. Here's your flip up mirror. This actually will stay in place. It kind of sticks wherever you want to put it and then you can snap it closed. So very nice that way. You get three large pans of product in here. The colors are not bad. It's a good color selection. A pretty rose gold, a very light color, and then a very gold gold. But I have a hard time getting these to give me a lot of highlighting on my cheek. They're just not very highlighty. I even used this center one in my inner corner today to try to brighten it and it didn't really work. I put it on a, a flat bristle brush. I put it on a flat brush. I dotted it in there and it's just kind of not really doing much. Here, I'll try again for you. It just kind of doesn't really do much. These highlighters are very, very creamy. They feel like, and now I'm picking up some of the powder um, sort of fallout from using my brush in the palette earlier. I'm picking that up on this brush. And that's why it's looking a little more impactful, but you kind of have to really work to get these to show up. Let me swatch these for you. They are super, super creamy in the pan. When you're touching them with your fingers, they feel like a cream, creamy eyeshadow in a palette, a very creamy, smooth, metallic-y eyeshadow. And I think that's part of the reason why they will not go on a brush let me try them on a sponge for you. They're just not impactful enough for me. And on the skin, they kind of look chunky. And if you have texture on your skin, those chunks just sort of emphasize that. They show the little divots or the little pores in your skin. Those chunks are just sitting there on top of those. They're not filling them in. They're not floating over them. So they're pretty colors, but I, they're not all that impactful and you can see on the back of my hand my pores are showing up really badly but eh, I'm just not loving this um, I think it was a good idea and I like the color selection but I'm just not loving the gold bar palette today nice. so that's all for today guys thanks for watching 